Hey drivers, have you ever done a delivery from the Apple Store on Uber Eats? Don't worry, there's nothing to be worried about. It's pretty simple, just like any other delivery. So in this quick video, I'm gonna walk you through how to do the order. I just finished one myself, and this should set you up for success. That way you won't be anxious or wondering what's gonna happen. So first of all, the order comes in just like anything else, and you can accept or decline it. When you accept it, then it gives you directions to go to the store, and at the nearby mall, it says where to park, which is kind of nice. And I'm sure you can always guess, when you go to a mall, parking is just so restricted and it's frustrating. So it's nice to know generally where parking is. Next, you go inside the Apple Store, and you can see a sign that says order pickup. Go over there and find one of the reps and let them know that you're there for a delivery on Uber Eats. The lady that was there was training a new person and she said you that they go in their app and they click on courier delivery, they look up the name of the customer and then my name pops up, the name of the driver. Next, you go over in the corner by their secret door that opens up and then a rep there is gonna bring out the package. Then you go ahead and scan it on your phone and once it registers, then you're free to go and head out to do the delivery. These deliveries will be just like normal. In my recent delivery, that was an Apple TV thing, 4K, looked pretty neat. Anyway, so when you go to the customer, I always give a message letting them know I'm a few minutes out. And I do this to share that, hey, I'm a person too and I wanna get their food or their item to them. And then it shows how friendly you are and basically you're asking them to give a good review and give you a tip. Now, on this order and um, on many of these delivery ones, the customer's not going to tip you. Mine was 701, and you can look in the app here and it says, doesn't say no tip, but there was no tip. So generally, you're not going to get tipped on these, or if you do, it's two, three, four dollars. All right, so up next, you've driven to the customer's house and you're ready to deliver. I recommend either do this in your car or as you're walking up to the door before you ring the doorbell. You're gonna have to scan that package again. So scanning that barcode is then gonna allow the customer to enter in their signature because this is what happened to me. So I just stood there, scanned it, and then I asked the customer for the signature. Here's your paper if you want to. Oh, cool, thank you very And much. if you don't mind, um, you don't really have to sign it, but if you want to. Yeah. I don't know how they would ever actually prove yeah, any of that. I know. And you know, who knows if Uber Eats is really gonna track down, did that customer actually sign it? Because you know what? One time I signed it myself and it worked out okay. And when you're interacting with that customer, smile and be friendly because they're gonna rate you well and ideally give you a tip. And this order was a no tip order. I really don't have high hopes of getting a tip, but who knows, I was smiling, friendly with the customer. Maybe he'll throw me a dollar or two, but that's okay. My name is Russ and I love making videos to help drivers like you. Don't forget to like the video and like the channel if you got some value today. Now, the customer signature is one aspect. Are there other times? Yeah, you're gonna take a picture at drop off for some orders. What about when you get an Uber Eats pin? Have you seen one of those yet? Why do they come up? It's to protect the company, and just because you're there, it's to protect the driver. This customer probably has been complaining, missing items. Something's happened to where Uber has now forced that on them to have an Uber Eats pin. And would you like to know a way around this pin? Well, check out this video next.